most people would be terrified to come face to face with a wolf. But these packs of predators who've wandered Canadian forests for centuries are now joining the growing list of extinct animals. Tonight, our Carolyn Jarvis takes us on an incredible trip to Banff National Park, where you'll be shocked to learn just how many of these wolves are left. There was a time when a chorus of howls would echo through this valley. A time when the wolf population in Banff was thriving, but shockingly today in the majestic Bow Valley, a sprawling area that makes up half the national park, the wolf population has been reduced to six. Nanook, the father, now keeps watch over his pack after his mate, Delinda, was killed on the highway last August. You found the scent marking of a wolf. How long ago do you figure they were here? Maximum two, three days. Where does the wolf rank in the hierarchy of the wild? Number one. He you is. don't even fear bears. Author and researcher Gunter Bloch has been capturing these wolves on tape for nearly two decades. They're part of his family. These are wolf tracks here. That's the big male. That's the father. He's the only one in town who knows them all by name. And so he was called in to identify Delinda. With tears in my eyes, I had to identify and say, yes, that's Delinda. I know uh, researchers shouldn't be attached, but we are. Less than two weeks after Delinda's death, one of her sons, Silvertip, was also killed, again on the highway. You would think that national parks are the place to be for wildlife, to be safe and having a natural balance. Now, some scientists are sounding the alarm that in this World Heritage Site, the wolves are far from safe and people are to blame. We lost uh, around 30 wolves, which is a lot. The railway is a common traveling route for the wolves, but is also very dangerous. So is the highway, which curls all the way through the national park. Back in the early 80s, Parks Canada built this perimeter fence, keeping the animals safe inside, as well as the people safe outside. But in most cases, the wolves just dig underneath the fence, gaining access to the highway. And as we've seen, that can prove deadly. Losing a couple of animals may not seem like a lot, but internationally renowned zoologist Dr. Paul Paquette says the long-term effect on the wolves may be devastating. They're all going to be in a, a long-term slide probably to extinction in that area, uh, partially as a result of a burgeoning population in British Columbia and in uh, Alberta. A new study by Paquette and a team of North American scientists points to a continuing decline in wolf populations unless something is done. So the solution that we provided, which would be very expensive and was discarded uh, initially, is if you are going to have a highway, that you need to bury that highway. It should go underground or it should be elevated. Even speed bumps, some suggest, would help slow down traffic and help save wolves. But local activist Jim Passat says even small measures may take more than money to complete. What we need in Canada is for the federal government to step up to the plate and give the adequate funding to Canada's premier national park here in Banff. But the fight isn't just with the government or the park, it's with other scientists, like University of Alberta zoologist Dr. Mark Boyce. According to him, there is no issue. I don't think there's any worry about, about wolves in Banff National Park at all. Even if there was a, a year of high mortality, the next year there'd be wolves back in the park. It's a short-sighted argument, according to Paquette, and that has them butting heads. But each time they've come back, there have been fewer and fewer wolves and coming back into fewer and fewer areas as we consume all of their habitat. Over the next 50 years, Paquette says the likelihood of a continued coexistence of wolves and humans is slim. And it's a pattern others have been witnessing. Everybody's talking about wildlife management. Why we don't talk about human management? Humans have to be managed. And while the debate rages on, Gunther's love for these wild animals keeps him coming back. He simply hopes that in the years to come, there will be something to come back to. Nobody can predict the future, but I'm very, very skeptical about the whole thing now. Yeah.